over. Last mission, last mission. The final boss mode. Oh man, but no. Then also, you know, we had the, you know, we had some British fights on um, this weekend. You know, we'll go through those. I mean, one, one which was inter- interesting in the fact that it's in a division that you're just trying to say, okay, what's going to be the next move with Billy Joe Saunders defending against Martin Murray? Uh, a fight that no one really asked for or really wanted anyways. But for some reason, both of these guys trained like they was fighting fucking prime Joe Lewis because both of these dudes was in shape, no frills, no problems. Yeah. Um, Sa- Saunders looks focused. Um, I don't know why we can't get this for like we, we hundreds. Wait, we, yeah, we, we wasted the good. Uh, <laughs> that mm-hmm. was, you wasted the good, the good, the good training on on fucking Murray. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Martin Murray, yeah, Martin Murray still eating, you know, off that, you know, off the close shave that he got against Sergio Martinez. You know, it's like Mark, I mean, and the fucking um, what should he? Wasn't it? Didn't he beat Sturm too? Oh yeah, he, he got yeah. And he got, he got jobbed on that. Yeah. The real talk, like yo, I'm I'm gonna be honest, like, like you know, Martin Murray is the reason why Sturm and Sergio Martinez duck Golovkin. Mm-hmm. They knew if they couldn't handle him, they didn't want none of that uh, Kazakhstan work. Yeah, I don't know. So just think about it, and you see what Golovkin did to Martin Murray. Yeah, you know, I mean, Sturm like was a draw, and he got jobbed. And then Sergio Martinez was a close one. This is when you knew Sergio Martinez was probably nearing the end, you know. And then after that, Golovkin, Golovkin laid down a scary beating on Murray, you know. And then you have Arthur Abraham. Oh, he was at, he, he he almost beat Arthur Abraham too, you know. And you know, yeah. See, that's the thing. So, so so Martin Murray, he he's quality, but the thing is, it's like he's so past it now. So this fight being made, I mean. I know Billy Saunders. He he had an undefeated guy in there last time, I mean, struggled mightily and had to wilder himself out. Right. <laughs> so, but you know that was last year. You know, this fight's a step backwards. But I mean, it's I guess uh, stay busy, tune up. You know, get work. It goes twelve yeah. rounds. <laughs> yeah. And then and Murray and okay, Murray's thirty eight years old and. And looked and fought just and fought just like it. Like Murray was largely ineffective in this fight. Like super ineffective. He couldn't let his hands go. Like he couldn't put a trip. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like you know. he would. Like this is the thing. Like he he would crowd Saunders and he would get in the right spots. And early he was able to throw the right hand to the body and land that. But over the course of the rounds, he couldn't even do that anymore. Like he would get in all the right spots, couldn't throw the hands, couldn't throw the punches, and. Saunders was just eating him alive, like you know, he was first, last, second, third, everything. So, mm-hmm. hey, Saunders was sharp. This was, yeah. hmm? what were you saying, P? No, I was gonna say, dude looked every bit of 38. Yeah, yeah. this is the best Saunders we've seen since the Lemieux fight, to be honest. Yeah, you know, and it's just like, you know, we just can't just fight, you know. Yeah, and we're wasting the good, we're wasting the good fucking, all, the, why can't we get this for quality fighters? The fuck? Yeah. Yeah. Like this against Lemieux, like, it has to, it, you have to keep doing that against guys of Lemieux caliber and higher. Like, you can't, you, you, you know, there was no danger threat with Murray. You know, I know they've been talking shit for years and beefing and everything, but yeah, you know, I I didn't see any upside out of this fight. But um, Saunders got some rounds in, I guess. Um, whoop de do. I mean, he, he looks good. Mean, dude, yeah, I mean, the fact that I mean the dude actually got in a fight this year is a, is like is like a miracle because you know this dude is not the <laughs> most, he's not the most disciplined fighter outside you know outside of the ring. Yeah. And he he did have a Canelo fight pretty much signed and sealed, delivered, but you know, COVID happened. Right. And he got into this shit about, you know, teaching people how to beat up their girlfriends and shit. And, you know, yeah, he's always yeah. doing some weird, crazy left, left, you know, left field shit. Yeah. 
Yeah, no. Saunders, Saunders is Saunders is a hindrance to his own career, like his fuckery, the drug use, all type of shit. Though he's a hindrance to his own career, you know. But it's just like now with Murray out of the way, and Murray should probably retire at this point. I mean, five world. He's sounding like that in the interview, like real tough. I, I give him that credit. You know, Murray did sound like he, you know, is gonna put him up now. Yeah, I mean, because I mean, honestly, where can you go? I mean, dude has lost to damn near every notable fighter in his era. He said he's had five, you know, title shots. Yeah. Yo, he fell off. To pop back on. So. Yeah, he said he's not going to get a six title shot. No, not at all. Because <laughs> there ain't no more Saunders out there that's going to give them to you. Exactly. I mean, <laughs> unless Plant is like, you know, Plant is like, okay, I'll, I'll fight him or something like yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <no. laughs> yeah. And even then, that's a bad look because you don't, you know, that performance, you get 12 blank like that. You, you don't deserve another title shot. So, yeah. so please, uh, PBC, don't don't think about Martin Murray when y'all start scheduling Plant fight. We, we, we just seen Plant enter camp again. So, you know. <laughs> You know, if but I hear this podcast, he'd be like, hmm, Martin Murray? Is Daniel Gill available? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> gonna move him up. Some, somebody, somebody get Matthew Macklin on the phone. Yeah. <laughs> you know, just start bringing anybody out. Yeah, but meanwhile, I think this needs to be more pressure put on Eddie to really make the fight. Because I know after that, you know, the usual song and dance between him. And Andre, you know, who's not he's not out. gonna do shit. We we hear this every time. I, I I've I've tuned Eddie out at this point because he's gonna say the same shit over and over again. I don't know why he can't get Saunders and Andre big fights. Yeah. Like you know, Andre has been. I mean, I mean Andre is. I mean, like I said, Andre and Saunders was an actual fight. I mean, we I won't rehash everything, but it was an actual fight that got fucked up because Saunders. You know, decide. You know, he want to treat yeah, his nose. Does it take two years for it to come back on? <laughs> yeah, at this oh, point, it's like, oh. Well, I mean, at this point, like, hey, it was that one sixty. You know, Saunders went up to one sixty eight. You know, got that belt, and Andre is still holding that one sixty belt. And that's the thing. Neither has had the performances where you're like, okay, these guys are on a collision course. It's like, eh. I mean, if they cross paths, okay, I guess. Like, man, I mean, we all know what's gonna happen. Andre's gonna end up fighting some fumble fuck. Who cares? To be a a, a, a a Liam Williams. Yeah. <laughs> and, and the sad part is Liam Williams ain't really a bad fight like that. It's just that we're so tired of Andre getting guys that we don't want him to. See, we don't want to see him in there with. Right, and he's not getting the big names that, when it when by the time he fights a a, a a decent fringe guy, it's like you don't even want that no more. Yeah, like I mean, if if it was mixed in where you know Andre was facing you know face like someone who's legit and then facing the Liam Williams, I don't think no one would really bat an eye. All that. Yeah, but when you're going from you know Keeler to Liam Williams, it's like damn. See, the thing is, it's like. So the uh, Selecki or Suele- Suelecki fight. Suelecki fight, yeah. Yeah, Selecki. Going from that to Leon Williams is cool. But going from that to Keeler. Yeah. And then Leon Williams, it's like, well, damn, like, I can respect you doing the fringe guys back to back, but you can't dip lower. Like, yeah, good lord. <laughs> yeah, like, come on. Like, like, I was giving, I was leaving you the ends of the bread. <laughs> my nigga. But now you want the toaster leave it. <laughs> so yeah, but like, yeah, uh... yeah, so hopefully in 2021, you know, that there is some effort, to, you know, for Andre and Billy to actually get a fight, you know, a notable fight at their div- in their divisions, or, you know, or if not, make the actual fight, because honestly, I don't think they can take another year. Like, I mean, you know, I mean, Saunders is whatever. Saunders is already unpredictable, but Andre is not. And Andre is getting older, too. It's like, you know, you can't be like, you keep fucking around. You you may just spoil on the vine with the wrong fighter. You know? And- this nigga is 160 Tevin Farmer at this point. Let's keep it real. Yep. <laughs> 
you know and yeah, it's, no it's true it's like you i can't i i can't refute it like he's 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 the 160 tevin farmer yeah and, and you hate to because yeah, because andre is a talented fighter but it's just like you can't i mean i mean his story i won't rehash i mean everyone knows he's burned a lot of bridges in certain different for different promotions and stuff like that you know and that's his fault yeah, and it's his fault. It comes a time where we got to start placing the, you know, the blame on him. You know, it's like that one bitch that's always like, oh, I can't, you know, oh, these niggas ain't shit, these niggas ain't shit. Then it's like, you're like, damn, like, why you messing with a lot of ain't shit niggas? What's wrong with you? Like, <laughs> why you ain't up all there, like, in the head, so. I'm saying. It's getting to that level now, so. Yeah, so yeah, I mean, but I'll I, I watch the Leon Williams fight. Don't get me wrong. Like, Leon Williams, he's on the little upswing and shit. But, you know, like, like we said before, it's just, it's not the type of fight we want from Andre right now. But, right. It, it's, it's, be, it's, a be, it's better than the Keeler fight. I'll give you that. And it's better right. than fucking Dusty Harrison, which, you know, thankfully did not come to pass on that. Like, yeah. Uh, it's like someone saying, okay, we'll upgrade your bologna sandwich to. To turkey, <laughs> but you still wanted the roast beef or, or the pastrami, but you know they ain't got that. <laughs> I mean, roast beef and pastrami would have been. I guess that's like what uh uh the mungia. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, honestly, I, I, honestly, I don't understand why mungia Andre isn't made too. Mungia should be that number one contender because. He did give up the WBO 154 belt, and the WBO has that rule in place. That would be an interesting fight. I just don't, and I don't understand why. And he's low key kind of like fought the type of fights where I could be like, well, you know, he's building toward a title shot. Like, you know, yeah. Spike and um, uh, Johnson, th- those were like good building fights for him. Like, right. Like, I mean. So he- I don't know. Unless you want to fight a spoiler to get ready for Andre. I mean, I don't know what else, how many more fights you need. Like, Exactly, it's like you know that could be a fight. That Unless you saying made. fuck it, I, I might get a Golovkin fight. That that could also probably be the case too. So yeah, like yeah, one one sixty one six one sixty one sixty eight. You know those divisions are kind of uh, there's a whole there's a whole, there's a whole there's trash. Lot of trash. There's the, the there's a lot of trash that's going on. <laughs> I, 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 I fuck it. I ain't even gonna make this sound nice. It's just trash. I mean, I was gonna say nonsense, you know, but anyway, you know, but um, yeah, listen, there's there's too much filler, and then the people that we want to see fight aren't fighting. So, like, nigga, I'm 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 trying to buy name brand cereal, not the fucking bodega no name cereal, like. <laughs> Not that box from Aldi's, uh, you know. Yes. German knockoff. <laughs> Not the King Vitamin shit, you know what I'm saying? True. <laughs> yeah, well, I won't catch the crunch. Not King Vitamin. <laughs> you know, oh, man. Just, you know, keep giving us King Vitamin and Count Chocula and all his other off brand friends. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, they need to get the Shaw Saunders and Andre need to get that shit together, especially on the zone side. Like, really get that shit together, because yeah, 2021 there, like, you know, something has to change. You know, yeah. Eddie, like, he, he's done a great job with the women's box, and then he, he finally got Kellum Smith a good fight. Um, mm-hmm. finally got Canelo a good fight. Shit. Yeah. Just, now, I don't know what Oscar was doing, but. So yeah, you, you know, I give him props when it's due, but man, I don't know what the fuck you doing with Andre and Saunders, but I, I know they difficult. So yeah, and this is a difficult year, but twenty twenty one is not gonna be a difficult year. So yeah, no time, yeah. time to show and prove. You know? Yeah, get that shit together with them man, next year. Yeah, and there was also another fight. You know, it was a uh, it was a lower level fight, a fight that we didn't really think would actually cause an upset. You know, former light heavyweight title challenger Anthony Yard, you know, facing you know undefeated Lyndon Arthur. I mean, King per- Arthur. King Arthur, yeah. I mean, personally, I didn't, yes. have, I didn't, personally, I didn't have all that interest in the fight because I was thinking to myself, okay, you know, Yard is probably gonna knock him out or whatever, and then go about his business like he usually does. You know. No. 
Yeah, no, I mean, but, you know, I was chilling, you know, I was watching this, you know, and as I was doing some audio shit, and I'm thinking to myself, like, you know, damn, Yard is limited. Like, the fuck? Like, he's super limited. Like, you know, all, I mean, I mean, first of all, he has too much muscle for a guy at at that weight. And, you know, and doesn't, and seemingly can't get away of a jab. Now, Lennon Arthur... Uh, from I mean, look was fighting like he had some hand problems, like he wasn't throwing, throwing his right hand all that much. So both of these dudes are looking trash early though, because they kept no. feigning each other for like the first two rounds. I'm saying, yeah, <laughs> like, that shit was mad boring. I'm like, nigga, like y'all throw some hands. Like that was the most bare minimum effort fight I've seen in my life, right. or at least recent times. Yeah, you know, but and then it was awful that I was talking about because. You know, um, Yard, you know, was like, couldn't get away from a fucking jab. And what is it about Frank Warren fighters and jabs anyways, nigga? It's just like... Dog, is it, is it like, man, Frank Warren be making, like, people look like they got necks? Mm-hmm. And then it's like, they flop, yo. Like, I, yeah. I, I don't know what's it about his fighters or his promoter eye, but... Yeah. All them niggas is like, flops, like, like... You know, they come on the scene on some, you know, 98 cannabis shit, but then it just turned into, I don't know. 2005 like, cannabis. 2005 <laughs> cannabis. <laughs> <laughs> like, you, you think you're getting the damn beast from the East and, you know, 4-3-2-1, but then you get some other shit. Yeah, you know, it's like, I don't know what the fuck is going on, though, but yeah. You think you're getting Desperados, you getting damn nachos. Yeah, I wanted... <laughs> I wanted 98 DMX, not 2006 DMX. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's like y'all had DMX re record the first album like two years ago or some shit. <laughs> like, nah. Like, so, so, anyways, this dude, y'all. See, the thing is, the reason why we weren't really checking for this fight like that was because we had other shit going on, but because we all pretty much said if dude doesn't get rid of um, his trainer, or if he doesn't add some other things and change some shit up, he's going to stay at this level and he's going to get exposed and he's going to look worse and keep going and going. He's not going to improve because at the level he was at, he was supposed to beat Kovalev. Yeah. Two His trainer is a fucking clown. Yeah. Two days. And yeah. he let Canelo get that glory. He, he, it's like he set the table for Canelo to eat and now he's like his career is thrown off track because now he's losing the guys with one hand who, who fidgeting and fainting to death and he don't even want to throw hands enough like 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 could you imagine Danny Garcia throwing all those punches and yard is like fuck it I'm gonna fight like old Danny Garcia <laughs> yeah it's, 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 and how he fights lends credit to the thing that he says he doesn't spar and his trainer says he doesn't spar which is and like I, I mean I was talking some bullshit because all fighters spar, uh, they definitely should yeah, spar. I, I can believe it now. Like them two on some different shit now, bro. Yeah, it's like you know, yeah, it, it, it's clear to me that because it's like the stuff that Arthur was doing you know, easily, I, I would think like a pro would be able to adjust to that, you know. But there was no adjustment. Like literally, this nigga was just plodding forward and eating jabs, you know, and not letting his hands go like how he should. You know, and occasionally Lyndon, Lyndon would throw the right hand, you know, and it would be clean too. It would whistle and catch him too. And it's just like, you know, and then Arthur wouldn't do anything more. And then Yard would just do like really nothing. <laughs> Yard, Yard would land a good right hand like every five minutes. Mm-hmm. But nothing comes after it. And then do nothing after it. It's capitalized with nothing. And, and if you heard us get at Danny Garcia, like imagine like negative like three times worse than that i'm saying like <laughs> like, like this how bad it's looking like so if you think we was hard on swift then nah yeah no, it, it was getting to the point where i was there, and I, remember I was texting i was texting lb i was like yo this nigga is like this nigga yard is losing like like he's getting outboxed by a jab <laughs> so, this is the thing it's not like 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 joe joyce was really letting his jab go to the boy the mm-hmm. boys like I'll, I'll I'll admit that, but this guy King Arthur, that jab was so sporadic, and for him to just get timed and controlled with that shit just made me just be like, like yo, this is ridiculous. Yeah, 
absolutely ridiculous. And it was that way. It only, I think it was until the last round that, that Yard actually let his hands go. You know, he actually tried to win the fight, but I thought it was just a little bit too late you know, for all that. Now, one judge had that shit scored for Yard 117-111, and I'm just like, how? Like, like it was- because he did what he did what you usually do with Swift. You know what I'm saying? He filled out. He had three. He had three rounds up for for Yard before the fight even had even, even happened. Stupid. <laughs> I mean, how is he going to just give ten to ten two? <laughs> That's a, or nine three. You know, something like that. You know, it's like, you know, it, and it was like dumb. I was like, and then the other scores were well, one fifteen, one fourteen. You know, which means that there was there was definitely a, there was a ten ten round thrown in there somewhere. You know, for Arthur, and Arthur just won by the skin of his fucking teeth. <laughs> so it's just like, you know, just to lose like that, you know, and it's just like whatever raking that Yard had, or was looking for seeking a rematch for somebody, for for Kovalev, that shit is done. And the worst thing too was Yard's acting like he got robbed big time. Excuse me, he got robbed big time. Like this nigga was really uh, on that post fight interview. Like ranting and raving, you know, saying yeah, that. Look at this, the look at this belief on his face when, yeah. when the score was read. I'm like, bro, like you was that trash. Like, how you not know your, how you not know your own performance? Like, <clears throat> but then again, exactly. he doesn't spar, so he don't know how to evaluate himself. Like, like me personally, like I know everybody here box before. You know when you kind of get touched up a little and you kind of know when you won the round right 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 i mean this is the part y'all niggas say yeah 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 but okay yeah that's that's quick right, <laughs> it's like uh what's his name oh fuck you yard You know, but yeah, yeah. I mean, Yard. I mean, it's clear that Yard hadn't finished his education. Like, I mean, Yard only had a 12 fight amateur career too, so it wasn't a long. And you know, and then in the pros, like basically, I mean, dude's been getting by on power, his power. You know, you know, yeah. yeah. The no, and the no name, you know, the the no name crop of no name European jobbers. Yeah. yeah. The, this the underworld of the career mode. <laughs> yeah, and, and then you know all him and career mode for the career mode. Yeah, all all all, the, all them you know the Fight Club Europeans that he gets by on like the fuck. Yeah, yeah and he, almost, you know, almost when, you, when you fight niggas with like movie extras for Scott Atkin movies and shit like <laughs> fighting stuntmen and shit. <laughs> N- niggas yeah. reading the name, sounding the same on the Netflix credits and shit. Like, damn, wasn't that, wasn't that Michael J. White movie, right? Uh, you have not <laughs> seen him before. Like, he the dude who got kicked into the crate over there or some shit. <laughs> like, so, so when you factor in all this, this dude was like the best case of spoil on the vine that you could ever imagine. <clears throat> right. Cause he never got to be anywhere. Like, like you know, you you know, we'll, we used to get on guys like Leo Santa Cruz and Andre, and you know, but yeah, and, and imagine this guy was just so close to actually becoming light heavyweight champion. So close. Yeah. This, this is worse because it's like he's had better opportunities than those guys, and they still became world champions. Mm-hmm. They're, they're spoiling on the vine on a higher level, but you know what? They got to the that level. Yeah. Exactly. And Yard was like right there. And it's like, okay, you fucked up on the world stage. All right, cool. We understand. You know, <clears throat> we, we forgive you. You know, he didn't retool his game, didn't make correction. He still got that fucking, um, his, his trainer who I, I don't know what kind of relationship these niggas got but he's super loyal i know there's some people out there contingent on the, the social media and even you know, boxing community that 
that you know look at any critical thing you say about um dude as hate but look bro it comes a time where you have to just prove yourself by now and you know they ain't prove it on the world stage they couldn't even prove it on a fucking commonwealth title yeah exactly like how many how many fucking stages we need to give you like 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 okay what what the fucking back alley stage nigga back alley level like come on <laughs> dude do we need to have a fight at the back of a fucking um amazon center <laughs> i'm saying <laughs> for, for you to you know get your shit together like come on man like, yeah was, i mean shit's stupid you know and yard fucked up you know losing to this guy you know i mean obviously the like i said he needs to do one thing he needs to get away from tune day you know and he needs to Get, a, get an actual trainer, trainer that actually knows how to train, you know, and eventually, you know, rematch this guy because it's just like, you know, I mean, well, I mean, let heavyweight, let heavyweight stuff is a dick. Re- rematch for what? Like, I wouldn't even look backwards. Like, if dude, like, if he doesn't, if Yard doesn't make any changes or show anybody, this would be the most pointless. This, this look, bro, there'll be a, a, a more pointless rematch than fucking Jake Paul and Nate Robinson. <laughs> Because it's like you have to show us that something else happened. Like, like who is y'all gonna fight? Like, like, like that's gonna be like, hmm, okay, what is he gonna do? Like, well, he ain't leaving his trainer. Yeah, he doesn't leave his dude, trainer. Dude, like, honestly, dude's a fucking hack, bro. Yeah, you know, and I guess it's gonna it be a matter of time. It just be honest, right? Yeah, I mean, it's only a matter of time before I mean Yard probably gets KO'd again. Looks like one seventy five is not a division to fuck around in, you know. So yeah, well, he's seeing that shit. Not even at the Commonwealth level, you can't fuck around. Yeah, you know. So yeah, I mean, I was like, Yard should be ashamed. Uh, I said, I was like, I was like, Yard should be ashamed of himself for losing to this guy. Like, you know, yeah, losing, losing to a wash up Kovalev is one thing. Losing to yeah. someone like this on, on, you know, on that. He didn't look special at all. You know, he didn't have the best jab in the world. Mm-hmm. He didn't even throw it at you that much. Mm-hmm. He didn't have no right hand. You was able to hurt him and land clean when you did throw. Like, yeah. And you lost. Like, am I missing something? Like, yeah, no, it was, yeah, it was you a can't whole slip a jab. Like the one punch the guy threw, like you couldn't even do nothing about it. Like nigga. Yeah, Next. Was... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much. Like yeah, like, yeah, like. There's nothing else to say. I'm just disgusted. Like. Ugh. Yeah, it was it was absolutely disgusting, you know. And yeah, Yard Yard should be ashamed of himself. And if Yard really wants to be, uh, you know, be something in the sport, he knows what he needs to do. Yeah, get rid of your fucking trainer. Yeah. <laughs> fucking spar. You can't replicate everything in a fucking doing mid sessions and slap boxing. It don't work that way. Facts. And goddamn, have you watched Rocky, nigga? You watch a boxing movie, a documentary, something? Like, <laughs> now I have no oh, like, man, oh my but... God. Like, how the fuck you get wrapped into this foolishness? <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, yeah. King Peace. Anyway. motherfucker. Next. Yeah. yeah, so now we're, you know, get into our...